Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a discussion video. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that I've been actually wanting to talk about for a while now, but I just for some reason haven't gotten around to it. So today I want to talk about nostalgia in music. Now this is something, like I said, that's been on my mind for a while, and there's just been a lot of things with this topic that I've been noticing that I kind of want to dissect a little bit. Um, and there, this this comes with a lot of things, I think. Like, I guess we're gonna go more into like the depths of like people who defend bands only based on nothing more than nostalgia. So that's what we're gonna get into. So I don't know about you guys, but uh, I would say that the two most important bands in my musical journey. Now, before anyone makes a misconception, these are not my favorite bands. But they're my most important bands. Keep that in mind. But I would say that my most important bands in my musical journey were Breaking Benjamin, yes, Breaking Benjamin, and Demon Hunter. Now, the reason that Breaking Benjamin was very important in my musical journey is because they were really the first band that I really ever gotten into. Like, I know I said before, like, I was into a few ACDC songs back in the day, and that was, like, really the only music that I really listened to before I found Breaking Benjamin. But Breaking Benjamin was, like, really the band where, like, I listened to all their songs, listened to all their albums, and things of that nature. And, yeah, so I would say that Breaking Benjamin was uh, definitely one of the most important bands in my musical journey. And they were the guys that helped me get into hard rock. Like, like after I got into them, I eventually uh, discovered Three Days Grace and then Red and, you know, a, a few other bands as well. And Demon Hunter was also one of the most important bands to me because they were the guys that helped me get into metal. Now, granted, I did uh, start off with, like, their ballad songs, like their more radio rock friendly songs. And then I eventually like collected all their albums and enjoyed a lot of their material. If it wasn't for them, I don't know if I would be into bands uh, that came along the way, like As I Lay Dying and All That Remains, for example. So yeah, um, that is why I would say that Breaking Benjamin and Demon Hunter are the two most important bands in my musical journey. Now the reason that I think this is important is because I feel like a lot of people can be a little overly defensive over the bands they have nostalgic feelings for. Now, I'm not saying don't be defensive at all, because if they like start roasting the band or something and saying like you have no good music taste or something like that, that's where you can kind of draw the line, I guess. <laughs> There's some things I want to bring up. If you have an if you have nostalgic feelings for a band that I guess other people don't have this nostalgic feelings for necessarily you know try to be a little understanding as well that's something that I will admit I kind of had a hard time working on especially in the past like I used to think how could people not like Breaking Benjamin how could people listen to Demon Hunter and not like them you know those were th some mindsets that I had but at the same time you have to realize that you know what if that feeling that you have for that band that you have nostalgic feelings for, those other people might have those same feelings for that band. Like, for example, if I have this specific feeling for Demon Hunter, because when I got into Demon Hunter, it was a very sort uh, significant time of my life, I think. It was a pretty interesting time. And, you know, it was my senior year in high school. and. Think about it this way, what if someone else has those same feelings, but f but they have them for another band like All That Remains, you know? They might have that feeling, who knows? And that's something you gotta keep in mind as well. And some of these bands like Breaking Benjamin and Demon Hunter to me, I would consider a, I guess you had to be there kind of bands. And here's another point I do wanna bring up too, to I guess the people such as the Breaking Benjamin fans. Now, they're an interesting group, let me tell you. Now, I now most Breaking Benjamin fans that I do come across usually say that they're their favorite band. Now, if Breaking Benjamin is your favorite band, do I have a problem with that? No, not at all. 
Um, but what what really makes me mad about this crowd is they go full on defense over them, act like they're the greatest band that's ever you know walked the planet, and they act like they're the greatest thing that's ever happened to music. And you know, I feel like this mainly comes with nostalgia. And don't get me wrong. Breaking Benjamin is a band myself that I have nostalgic feelings for. I get, you know, there's a lot of people, and I know I'm not the only one who's been through this. Because I got into Breaking Benjamin when I was like 14 or 15. But I feel like a lot of people, I guess, think, well, you know, they were the first band I ever gotten into. So they have to be my favorite band. They just have to be my favorite band since they were the first band I ever gotten into. That's what some people think. And that's pretty sad. See, I feel like nostalgia can be a good and a bad thing because I feel like it's what you do with your nostalgia. Like, do you go and attack people who don't like Breaking Benjamin just for solely not liking the band? For your nostalgia? Or is it something that you do for your nostalgia that's good? I feel like this is a problem too. There's a lot of people that want to live in the past. Like, they try to recapture it, but every time they try, they don't end up succeeding. So here's my advice to you. How about you try to create new memories? You know, try to find a band, a different band that you can look back, you know, in 2018 and think, huh, I remember when I was into that band. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with, you know, going back and visiting some of these bands. Like, sometimes I'll do that with Breaking Benjamin. I feel like you should really uh, take in consideration, like, you know, other people, what they have nostalgic feelings for. I don't have nostalgic feelings at all for, for example, Trivium, because I only got into them last year in 2017. But I understand that maybe some people, you know, have nostalgic feelings for them. And that's not something I'm going to, like, blink twice about it and think, what? How can you have nostalgic feelings for that band? They just do, you know? Like I said, how I felt about Demon Hunter back in my senior year, maybe those people felt about Trivium in their senior year. So if you only praise a band and act like they can do nothing wrong based on nostalgia, I encourage you to think again and really separate your mind from the band, separate your mind from nostalgia, and really look at the music. Looking at you, Breaking Benjamin fans. And if you're someone who thinks that, like, the band can do nothing wrong, you're excited for, you know, your, your favorite nostalgic band's new album or whatever, and you say, oh, it's the best album of the year, just solely because of your nostalgia, and not because of the actual music, then think again. I'm not saying throw away your nostalgia completely. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with going down memory lane, but... Don't act like that nostalgic band is, the, you know, the masters of music just because of the time you felt about them when you first got into them. That, Like I said, that is something that I had to learn about bands like Demon Hunter. You know, I discovered many other bands since I've been into them. I guess that's all there is to it. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Is this something that maybe you have struggled with? Is this something that, you, you know, you feel like, um... This is a little too common, or do you know someone who's kind of like this, only defends bands due to nostalgia, and don't really admit their flaws? What do you think of this subject? I encourage you to let me know. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Don't think I'm hating on, you know, any bands or anything. I'm just going solely based on nostalgia. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, and take care.